What? There's a fish on that rod right there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh, my rod's getting taken through the tree. That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, it's getting ripped right at sunset, guys. This is crazy, man. I can't even move this fish. This thing is just bulldogging me. Yep. It looks like we're gonna have a pretty good drive down this dirt road and a pretty good hike back to the mouth of this creek. So time to get traveling. Well, we just got our first look at Lake Superior driving by and it looks absolutely beautiful. You don't want too big a waves because that can be pretty tricky to fish and you don't want it completely flat calm either. But it looks like there's just a nice about two foot chop coming right at us so this should be perfect. I'm excited. Let's go adventure chasing today. We're going adventure chasing today. A little Kenny Chesney on the radio. A little Kenny Chesney. Yep. Oh, get us pumped up. Rejuvenate us. Oh, wow guys, this is so beautiful. What a beautiful little stream here. Look at all this pristine gravel and this beautiful shoreline. Wow, how cool is this? Well finally, we got some nice weather on this trip at last. This whole trip has been just rain, snow, high winds and Today is just a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the wind's not blowing, and it looks like it's gonna be nice the rest of the afternoon. So the first step here, guys, is I'm gonna get some spawn tied up. I kept a female steelhead out of the river a couple days ago that you might've saw one of our previous episodes. And we're gonna tie that spawn up, and that's what we're gonna be using for bait to fish the shoreline here today. Lines are deployed, the traps are set, and now we wait. Greg, you just got a bite, dude. That, that rod 100% just had a bite right there. Got him, baby! Got him, baby! <laughs> He's either swimming at me or he just came off, guys. Oh, he's swimming at me. Holy cow. It looks like a coho, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice. Oh, look at that coho. Jumping in the waves, baby. Beautiful coho, guys. That's a great size coho. Dude, that's a good size one, buddy. Nice. Well, check out that beautiful Lake Superior coho, guys. I don't know how well you can hear me with these waves coming in, but this is the first bite we've had. We've been fishing for about an hour, and this is gonna be an absolutely delicious fish. This is probably my favorite fish to eat in all of the Great Lakes, so we're really looking forward to having some fresh coho. So I'd just like to make sure that this spawn bag, guys, is about a foot up off the bottom here. So how this setup works is I have a two ounce pyramid sinker right there, and I have it on a snap. So that free slides on my main line, and I have one bead, I have a small barrel swivel, and then I'm running a five foot liter of 10 pound test fluorocarbon. I come down to my hook, have my hook, my spawn bag, and I have one split shot about a foot up off my spawn bag. That way, when this is on the bottom, the spawn will be about a foot up off the bottom, and I like to run my leader long just because it makes it really stealthy, so. All right, guys, bombs away again. We're gonna get her back out there. 
Wham! Yeah, baby. That thing flew out there. What? There's a fish on that rod right there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, he's getting hammered! Oh! Bendo, baby! <laughs> Bendo! Oh, yeah. Yep. Sweet. Got another coho on, bro. Another superior coho. Swimming at you? It's crazy how fast they swim at you. Uh, I know it. Dude, he's almost at the beach right here. He's right here, bro. There we go, guys. There we go, baby. Oh, he gulped that one, didn't he? Yes, he did. Wow, how far Dude. is that down his throat? I don't know. I can't even, I can't even see cow. it. Holy cow. Can't even see that. That was a choker spawn bag, too. <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Mid-afternoon bite, baby. Not too bad. Waiting for the evening bite now. Oh, my gosh. This thing is getting hammered. We got him, guys. Got him, baby. We got him, baby. This fish just absolutely clobbered this bait. Gosh, they like swim right at you because there's no pressure when they come at you. And they just swim a million mile an hour. There we go, I caught up to him there. Holy cow. He's putting up a scrap. Let's see, another coho, baby. All right, another coho. All right, all right, we'll add him to the pile. We're getting a good pile going. Well, I'm just gonna make sure I bleed this fish out really well. You definitely want to make sure to bleed your fish out. It really helps preserve their meat. Woo -hoo -hoo. We got silver. We got silver going on the smoker, baby. That's a big fish. That's a bigger fish. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't have a third rod holder. This is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. <laughs> Got him in the tree rod holder. I didn't have a third rod holder, so I had to find a tree. It about got ripped out of the tree, baby. This is a big fish, guys. This is a good, this is a heavy fish. Dude, this is a big fish. I don't know what this is, guys. I can't even move it. Dude, I can't even move this thing. I can't even move this fish. This thing is just bulldogging me. I have, it's taking drag again, man. It's taking drag, it's just bulldogging. I have no clue what I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. I have no idea what this thing is. It's not fighting like a steel and it's not fighting like a salmon. It's just heavy and just bulldogging me. Is it a sturgeon? Do we have a sturgeon? It's gotta be. It's a fish, dude. It's, I think it's a sturgeon, man. I don't know what this is. It's taking line again, though, man. I think it's a sturgeon. We gotta land it, dude. It has to be a sturgeon. What else would it be? Dude, dude this thing is crazy. We just doubled into this thing, dude. It's just like not going on fast runs, but it, when it runs, it's just such a bull. Bulldog and you can't move it at all. We've hooked a mystery fish on Lake Superior. Oh, no, 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 guys, it came off. It freaking came off. It freaking came off. And we will never know what that fish was. I will never know 
what that fish was. It had to be a sturgeon. That's the only thing I can think. It was so heavy and I just couldn't move it. It was just going on big, slow bulldogging runs. And it just freaking popped off, I think. Let's look. No, it just fell off. It just it popped out, guys. It popped out. Wow. That little tiny hook stuck whatever that was. And it just popped out. The spawn bag still even looks good. It must have just barely had it on the corner of its mouth, whatever it was. Dang it, man. I really wanted to see what the heck that fish was. We hooked a mystery fish on Lake Superior. Let's see what we got here, guys. Another coho, it looks like, baby. Another coho, guys. I just cannot believe the overall size and the healthy fish this year on Lake Superior. I mean, I've never seen this large of a size class of fish on Superior. This is truly awesome to see, and just another nice coho, man. And it's looking pretty promising for the rest of the afternoon. Got another one, guys. I think that's number seven now. Let's go take a look at our pile of salmon over here. Our pile of deliciousness. We're working on a full house, baby. You know, the reason why I love fishing the Lake Superior shoreline so much is because it takes you on so much adventure. There's so much potential. I mean, tonight we're gonna be looking for euchre lights. We're gonna be doing a little smelt dipping. We're gonna enjoy a great bonfire on the beach here of Lake Superior in this beautiful sunset. The lake's just turning to be flat calm and it's about 60 degrees right now. And you know, that's along with catching our own fresh coho salmon right off the shore here. So we are just so blessed to be able to have these natural resources to enjoy. Well, it is getting pretty darn chilly out here, guys, but we're going to get a fire going and enjoy the fire for the last hour or two of daylight until we start uh, looking for youper lights here. Good sunny day, caught some fish. Gonna eat some fish over an open fire. Cooked on that cedar plank, man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. Another, what do we need, two, three fish? We need three, we're three shy Dang, of our limit. Three, man, that's it. The bite went so cold on us. We were doing well for the first about three hours we fished, but the last, man, I don't know, two hours now, we haven't had a single bite. They've just completely shut off, which is, Pretty surprising. I thought it'd been the opposite, but you just never know. Well, we're gonna do up a pretty unique catch and cook here tonight, guys. We're gonna take some of this coho that we just caught and we're gonna cook it on the open fire. So what I did is I found a piece of cedar driftwood and I'm gonna use it as a cedar plank. So check this out, guys. Look at this. Okay, this is a piece of driftwood I found. And we're gonna use this as our cedar plank here. I think it's gonna work perfect. I'm just gonna lay the filet flat on top here and we're gonna season it up and put it right on our hot bed of coals. Well, we're just finishing up and just had an awesome day on Lake Superior. We got a nice mess of fresh coho salmon and uh, now it's time to try to cook one up here, guys. Yeah, I had a great afternoon, man, it was a blast. Now we're gonna reap the glory of it. Just, oh my God, no! <laughs> oh, it's getting ripped right at sunset, guys. Oh, buried into a baby. <laughs> this is gonna be our dinner. If we land this fish, we're eating this fish right now. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful coho salmon. A nice coho though, coho, buddy. Oh, nice coho. 
Fresh one for Din Din, babe. <laughs> That's dinner right there, buddy. That's dinner, Din Din, baby. We Dude, he jacked it, man. He I looked over my right wall, wall, wall. I was, I was just getting ready to say, hey man, should we pull these rods, you know? That's badass. Oh, we gotta do the clunk job, man. We gotta dispatch him. We gotta dispatch his ass. We are gonna put him right on our fire here, guys. I was, we were just getting ready to pull our lines and looked over and Greg's rod was just getting folded over. I looked over and my rod was bent right over. In fact, Kyle was getting ready to clean some fish that we had caught in earlier, but we're gonna have one right fresh, man. You can't get any fresher than this over open flame. It's That's gonna be dinner. Awesome. That's dinner right there, buddy. That's dinner. Way to end the day, huh, bro? That's a great way to end the day. What an awesome day, man. Look at that cherry red meat. That is unbelievable, man. This meat is so gorgeous. I don't think you could cook this fish any wrong way, to be honest with you. And just nice, beautiful flays, too. Oh, yeah, baby. And then all I'm gonna do here, guys, is just add a nice, gentle, little layer of garlic salt right over the top, a couple slices of butter, and that's all it's gonna take. And check out that cherry red coho salmon meat. These fish out of Lake Superior are so delicious. They're far better than any of the other Great Lakes. They're more comparable to the fish out of the ocean. The fat content's just much higher, and they just have such nice color and firmness to the meat. So what I have here is a uh, UV black light. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna look for Uper lights. You'll know when you find them because they're gonna be glowing like lava. See if we can find some here. Oh, I found one. Found one, guys. Check this out, I found one. That is so cool. Look at how it glows like lava. That is awesome. We got one. We got one, baby. We got one. Well, I found what we call a Uperlite back home. You can see this rock just glows like lava when you hit it with a black light. And this is a very prized treasure to find here on the Lake Superior shoreline. I'll put the scientific name right down below here, but there's all different kinds of names for these rocks. Some people call them lava rocks, solar lights, Uperlites. Whatever you want to call them, it's a very cool treasure to find here. But our salmon's just about done. It's actually looking perfect. It's juicing up perfect. We're going to hit it with a little bit of butter and just chow down on this play. Check it out here, guys. Our cedar plank salmon is finished here. Oh my goodness. This smells so delicious. Guys, let's try a bite here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best fish I've ever had. I'm gonna say this, this is the best salmon I've ever had. 100%, hands down. Oh my God. Oh. Dude. This is on another level. Oh my God. I can't believe how good that turned out, dude. Mm. This is the first time, guys, that I've ever done cedar. This is the first time I've ever even tried a cedar plank, and we're mm. on Lake Superior with a piece of driftwood. And look at this. Just, man. That's insane. That's good, man. 
I have a feeling this is gonna become a new staple of this channel. Found a piece of driftwood, a piece of cedar driftwood. We took it, made a cedar plank, I soaked it in Lake Superior for about two hours, then we put it on top of our coals, and this is, I'm gonna say it, this is the best salmon I've ever had. Mm. I don't know about, I don't know about you, Greg, but yeah. this is the best salmon by far I've ever had, guys. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not saying it for the video. This is just freaking awesome, and I definitely recommend trying it. You know, you come out here in the outdoors like this, you enjoy just a beautiful, beautiful experience in a beautiful place, and this is a great way to get people who have never experienced the outdoors into the outdoors, because this is just, honestly, a meaningful experience, and it's just so peaceful, the solitude, the stars are shining right now, and the waves are lapsing in. I just can't say enough about how awesome this is. All right, guys, well, we're all packed up, our fire's out, made sure to pick up all of our trash and uh, time to begin our journey back. We're gonna check for some smelt really quick and see if any smelt are running up in this creek before heading back, but we're just gonna take a quick look up a couple bends and see if any smelt are running, but we're not gonna stay probably too long. We're both pretty cold and we're ready to get back to our camp, but let's just check it out here. I'm gonna come look up on this tree here, see if there's any in this little hole. Well, didn't see any guys. I walked upstream a couple bends and just didn't see any. They might not run this creek or the run just might not be timed right. The smelt run can be very, very hit or miss. You gotta be there on the right couple days, but didn't see any, that's okay. We're gonna get hiking back though. It is time for a long hike back.